Good day, folks. Since a lot of people have uh, interest in the uh, solid state uh, cells here that I'm working on, as I've said many times before, I want to take it other steps. But for now, as a simple to show prototype, I made everything neat because people were saying they had a hard time. So here it is in a neat fashion here. So here's the uh, dry cell and here's the uh, capacitor here. And this is just a, a um, copy of the printout of my, um, what I talked about on the whiteboard here. And quantum tunneling energy generator by Joao Legacy, self-charging toy, quote unquote. So I've got the meter and the uh, jewel teeth and I've got the instructions here. So initiate the meter, activate the meter to check the capacitor's charge level. Look for a voltage reading around 1 volt. This confirms the capacitor is sufficiently charged. Monitor motor function. If the voltage exceeds 1 volt, switch the meter to motor to observe the motor operating with energy derived from the quantum tunneling effect. Reset the lamp setting after observing the motor. Remember to switch the meter back to the lamp setting for further experiments. Operate the Jewel Thief circuit, ensure the meter is set to lamp, then proceed to the Jewel Thief PCB with the LED lamp. Turn on the switch to light up the LED lamp brightly. Recharge and repeat. Once the charge depletes, turn off the system and wait for a solid state electrolytes cell to recharge the capacitor. When the voltage reaches about 1 volt again, you can restart the process over and over. So as instructions state, we will turn on the meter and observe what our buildup is. So not quite one volt, but we're getting there. This would be actually enough to um, operate the motor. So let's flick this to motor and observe. And this energy, folks, just keeps regaging itself over and over again. And this is a very poor design. So can you imagine if you actually took the time to actually build the proper wafers, minimize that spacing, stack them up real good, make a Zamboni-like pile with this, and this will charge up your capacitors no problem, which from there you can dump into your loads and do whatever you want, charge batteries, run small devices, jewel thieves, whatever. So, this is it, self-charging toy, polymer-based solid-state electrolyte, just trying to um, make everything portable, nice base here as well, so I could actually move it around, it's all glued in there, so see, I can move it so that there's no like easy to tell there's no secret wires under here or anything see I never there you go if only one ever wondered oh he never shows us underneath well there you go so this makes it very good to like show people right here you go here's it working there's no secret there's no trick there's no black box So we're dropping a little bit in voltage here, but this is a really efficient toy motor, so it runs for a while. But the point is we can stop that. And then we observe our voltage slowly go back up as the capacitor builds up a charge again. So as the word says, self-charging toy but it proves a concept, folks. It, it, it's the underlying principles behind it that's very important. So, again, I hope you enjoy and just putting all the information out there. Thank you for watching.